You know, this is where it all started. When I first got into BMX, Hamilton Skate Park was not a thing. There was talk of building a skate park actually right over, right over there in this area. They were talking about building a skate park, but that, that fell through due to a lot of angry adults signing a petition. Now don't get me wrong, this dirt track is awesome. I used to spend my life here. Me and Charlie would be here every single day after school, ditching school, just to come right here. It used to be a lot more in pristine shape, still never in a good shape, like it is, it gets worn down really easy. A lot of bikers that just roll over the jumps and tear down the lips with like little kids and all that jazz, which is totally all right. That's what me and Charlie used to do. We would try to jump, but you know, it took us a solid year to learn. Someone was talking to me the other day about how when they grew up biking, they never had a skate park. I was like, wow, I know what you mean. I never had one too. But then like you got the dirt track. I'm like, you're right. But I was thinking, what do you do if you don't have a skate park? What do you do if you don't have a little dirt track, BMX, pump track, whatever you want to call it? And so today's vlog, we're going to be going hunting down street spots. So let's go hunt down some street spots. Let's go get dicey. It's really cold though. My fingers really hurt. It's snow on the ground. Like you saw, there's snow on the, snow on the jumps. So, wish us luck. So, one of the first spots that I'll tell you guys about to keep your eye out for is two converging parking lots. So yeah, you got like two to three feet distance between, maybe like a foot to a foot and a half of height difference with the converging parking lots. And what's great about that is you can J-hop down, J-hop up, get comfortable making a little bit of a transition with the distance. You can practice 180s. I mean, literally the options are endless just because it's a little gap that it helps out. So keep your eye out for two parking lots. You see two parking lots, if you go like a hillier section of part of town or like a higher part of town, check those areas out just because they can be a little off level. This is a pretty awesome parking lot. We've been jamming this place since day one. I've actually had a friend break his arm here. It's kind of an L, but it's what happens, I guess. So we're gonna keep hunting out street spots for you, the viewer, to realize how you can find spots if you don't have a skate park and or a dirt park or anything of that nature so you can ride your bicycle or skate, whatever you do. We're just gonna help, we're, we're just gonna hook you up. We're gonna get, get you some good spots to ride at. If we don't freeze to death in the making. The camera keeps freezing and going green. So I actually, I'm hoping we can get enough spots. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to hit the road. We're gonna have to find more spots due to I don't know how long the camera's gonna work for. So, on to the next spot. So, another great spot is gonna be banks. I know that's as weird as it sounds, but they have those separators for the terminals that shoot up the money. Those are great spots to learn manual hops, nose manuals, and just anything fun to mess around on. Definitely would suggest banks. Work on your hangovers. Uh, options are endless. So, Another, another beautiful thing that I'm guessing you guys already know about. Stairs. Stairs will take you to the moon and back with the possibilities that they have. You can go up, you can go down. You can do, go down and do a trick. Countless possibilities. Definitely love stairs. And then, always scout around your town. See how many staircases you got. See if you got a one stair, two stair, three stair, four stair. One stairs is a curb, so I might be dumb for saying that. It's cold out, my jaw doesn't work too well, so talking's kind of hard. <clears throat> Definitely staircases though. 
beautiful. This is a simple three stair. It's actually right next to the skate park. Let me show you. So yeah, skate park's right there. Staircase is right there. It's kind of convenient because there's no actual staircases in the park. We don't even need that. We got one right there. It's pretty class. All right guys, so that was wrapping up the end of the video. No skate park, no problem. This was just mainly to inform you on how to go find street spots, give you a couple nuggets of ideas to go hunt down some spots to ride if you don't have a skate park or dirt track or anything of that nature. If you did like this video, definitely subscribe, definitely turn on notifications bell and all that sorts to the moon. Cause you know, if you do that, it's gonna be a great day. Do you know why it's gonna be a great day? Cause you'll get to see my face a couple times a week. Not a bad return if you ask me. If you did enjoy this video, you might enjoy this video right over here. That is, if you don't have any friends at the skate park, how to make friends at the skate park, it's also a killer. If you guys wanna see any more how-tos that are more on the generic terms, like how to find spots, how to make friends, definitely comment down below, I'll get back to you. And if you comment something clever, witty enough to make a vlog out of, I'll even post it in the next vlog. So definitely stay tuned for that. Definitely comment down below your ideas. And without further ado guys, we're gonna go catch sunset and then after sunset, it's gonna be the end of the day. But I'm sure I'll see you in the next couple of days. Don't forget to like and subscribe like I said. Show all your friends this channel, get the channel blowing up. Much love and I'll catch you in the next one.